Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to make an easy pulled pork uh, recipe in the slow cooker. All we're gonna need is a Boston butt. We're gonna need one whole onion. We're gonna need uh, some Everglades rub seasoning, or you can use any other type of rub seasoning or spices that you like. And then we're also gonna use uh, some barbecue sauce. I like the Sweet Baby Ray's. Once again, you can use whatever barbecue sauce that you want. Let's go ahead and get into it. Right, so we put the Boston butt in the slow cooker. What I like to do is, once I put the Boston butt in the slow cooker, I like to take my Everglades rub, and then I'll sprinkle it on while it's in the slow cooker. That way any of these spices will get down in there, and it'll make it, uh, make it a little bit more flavorful. And what I do is while it's in here, I just rotate it on all sides. Just get a good coat. You gotta think as this uh, Boston butt cooks down, all that fat is gonna release a lot of juices, which are then gonna soak in the, uh, the rub, which is just gonna give it more flavor. I'm doing it this way, I feel like I'm not wasting any of my rub as it falls off. All right, after we got the rub all put on, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw in our barbecue sauce. Using the Sweet Baby Ray's today. And with this, all you do is you just put it right there on the top. to get a good coat right there on the top of it. Once again, as this cooks down, the sauce is this. I'm gonna go down and get into all of the uh, fat that is rendered, and it's gonna be, uh, it's all just gonna fall in love and become marvelous. Now I take the onions and I just put the onions on top and down the side. A lot of people are asking, you know, they say that this might be a lot of onions, one whole onion. You can do half if you don't really like the, uh, you know, uh, a large onion flavor. However, these are gonna cook down as well. It's gonna release a lot of juices and everything's just gonna fall in love perfectly. All right, now that we have that, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of that water in. It's, I put in a little bit less than a, a quarter cup of water. And this is just to keep the bottom of it moist while it starts that cooking process. All right, now we go ahead and put the lid on. All right, with the lid on, we got it plugged in. We're gonna start it. Mine goes to select program. I'm gonna move it to 10 hours. Enter, and then I cook it on low. All right, and we'll see y'all back, back here uh, once it's done. All right, guys, this is the final product. As you can see, that pulled pork looks delicious in there. I don't have any gloves on, this is still hot. See how that bone pulls right out? Now, there's a ton of juice in here, just like I told you. Let's see if we can get this better on camera. So, there's a ton of juice in there. Um, I like to save some of this juice, put it in a bowl or um, basically a uh, Tupperware, and I'll pour some of this back into the container for the leftover pulled pork. That way, when you reheat it, um, you have a lot of this juice left in there. All right, so we're gonna transfer it over to the bowl. I'll show you how we just pull it apart with a fork, and then uh, that, that'll be it. All 
All right, guys. So this is that pulled pork here in the uh, the pan. You can see it's got some of the uh, the onions still in here. We like it mixed in with ours. If you don't, you just pull it out. It's no big deal. But with this, all we do is just take the fork. We just pull it apart. As you can see, this is super super tender, coming apart very easy. That fat is rendered nicely. You can see I like to, I do a lot of, uh, smoke a lot of stuff on a pellet grill. So like we like to do pulled pork on a pellet grill. Um, but you know, you gotta stay here and maintain it. This way of doing pulled pork, you do not have to stay. You just set it in there and then you forget about it and come back. Whenever you get to it, this was on there 10 hours, then it switched over to warm. I think it's been on warm for about an hour now. And as you can see, it's just pulling apart just nicely. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. All right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and try this pulled pork. Got some right here. Hmm. Very tender, extremely moist. Good pork, got a uh, had a lot of flavor. Um, that uh, Everglades rub, you can get that taste coming through. Definitely good. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of things that you can do with this pulled pork. Make pulled pork, uh, pulled pork tacos, pulled pork uh, sandwiches, uh, pulled pork sliders, all that stuff. One of, the, one of our favorite ways to cook this pulled pork is gonna be through uh, pulled pork quesadillas. So if you want to check that out, got the video linked right here. Otherwise, we'll see you next time in the kitchen. <clears throat> <clears throat>